Electoral College. How the elections won. Did you know that a presidential candidate can get the most votes nationwide, known as a popular vote, but they can still lose the election? That's because the way a president wins the election is based on the Electoral College. The Electoral College consists of 538 electors. And to win the election, you have to have at least 270 of those electoral votes. So what are electors? Each state is given a certain number of electors based on the state's population size. The number of residents who live in the state determine how many delegates a state gets in the House of Representatives. Whatever that number of House members is equals the number of electors that state is given. Then, every state gets two more electors for their two senators. There's 100 senators for 50 states. Every state has two senators, and those two senators equals two electors per state. This is a huge benefit for smaller states. So that means the number of House representatives for a state plus two senators equals the number of electoral votes each state gets. You get it? You just add those two numbers together. Number of the House representatives plus the two senators. And you get the state's allotment of electors. That's why California, Texas, New York, and Florida have so many electors. Because there's so many more people who live in those states. So they have more House representative members. Every 10 years, the U.S. does a census, which determines how many people live in each state. Also determines the number of electors that state will get for the next 10 years. So filling out your census is important. On voting day, all of the votes are counted in each state, and the winner of that state gets all the electoral votes for that state. It's winner takes all for each state's electoral votes. So when you see breaking news on election day that a state has been decided, whichever candidate got the most votes for that state will get all the electoral votes from that state. And the race to get 270 electoral votes is on. Often in close races, there are a handful of states that can decide who will win the election. And it usually comes down to some of the smaller states. Those states are known as swing states, which means they either could swing to one candidate or the other, which means that their state race is going to be super close. Do you know how many electors your state has? Find out and pay attention on election night to see which candidate receives your state's electoral votes. In the next video, we'll find out what happened after their election. Hey, if you want to learn more about the presidential election, we have a course at kidexplorer.com that teaches you all about how elections work. It's in the link down below. Go check it out. I'll see you over there.